elevated levels of TMAO and related metabolites are strongly associated with an increased risk of cardiovascular events, the findings indicate that individuals with the highest level of TMAO um, have more than twice the risk of developing cardiovascular events in the future compared to those with the lowest level. My name is Yelat al Khan and I am an interventional cardiologist at Rabin Medical Center. I'm pleased to share that our manuscript titled The Association Between TMAO and Related Metabolites with Increased Cardiovascular Risk Results from the Dallas Heart Study will be published next month in the Mayo Clinic Proceeding. The study investigates the associated between TMAO and related metabolites with cardiovascular risk using data from the Dallas Heart Study it found that higher levels of TMAO and its precursors are associated with an increased risk of cardiovascular events over approximately 12 years of follow-up. Participants with the highest TMAO level that more than doubled the odds of developing cardiovascular events compared to those with the lowest level. The study conducted in a diverse cohort of individuals with low to moderate cardiovascular risk reinforces the growing body of evidence linking TMEO to adverse cardiovascular outcomes. Mayo Clinic emphasizes highly individualized treatment plan based on comprehensive assessment of each patient's unique medical history, genetic profile, and lifestyle. They use integrated multidisciplinary teams, uh, and the clinic is known for its cutting-edge research. This means that patients benefit from the most up-to-date treatments and diagnostic tools. In clinical practice, we can use uh, TMAO levels for risk, risk assessment. Elevated TMAO levels could be considered as an additional biomarker for assessing cardiovascular risk, particularly in patients who may not otherwise be identified as high risk by using traditional metrics. This can help in identifying individuals who might benefit from more intensive monitoring and preventative measures. We can also use TMAO levels for monitoring and follow-up with regular monitoring of TMAO levels that could be integrated in follow-up care for patients with existing cardiovascular conditions or for those at intermediate risk to better tailor treatment start strategies and assess the effectiveness of interventions. For patients, these findings mean that elevated TMAO levels indicate a higher risk of cardiovascular events like heart attack or strokes. High TMAO levels may prompt earlier preventative measures such as lifestyle changes and more frequent health monitoring. And in the future, maybe new treatment targeting TMAO might become available, offering an additional way to manage cardiovascular risk. The next steps include four important steps like validation studies, causal mechanism, investigating the underlying mechanism by which TMAO contributes to cardiovascular disease to establish whether uh, it is a direct causal factor or primarily a marker of risk, intervention trials to testing intervention in at lower TMAO levels, such as dietary changes, medication, or targeting the TMAO production pathway to assess their effectiveness in reduction cardiovascular events. And of course, clinical guidelines, developing and validating clinical guidelines for using TMAO level in cardiovascular risk assessment and management. These steps are crucial for translating the finding of our manuscript into practical clinical applications and improving cardiovascular risk management. And of course, I invite you to read the manuscript uh, for further interesting findings. We hope that you found this presentation from the content of our website valuable. Our journal's mission is to promote the best interests of patients by advancing the knowledge and professionalism of the physician community. If you are interested in more information about us, our homepage is www.mailclinic.com proceedings.org. There you will find access to information for our social media content, such as additional videos on our YouTube channel, www.youtube.com Mayo Proceedings. Our journal operates on Facebook, 
www.facebook.com Mayo Clinic Proceedings. You can also follow us on X, formerly known as Twitter, available at Mayo Proceedings. More information about healthcare at Mayo Clinic is available at www.mayoclinic.org. This content is copyrighted by Mayo Foundation for Medical Education and Research, published by Elsevier Incorporated. All rights are reserved, including those for text and data mining, AI training, and similar technologies.